Good evening. Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Fine, thanks. And you? Okay, very well. Very, very cold, teacher. Yes, yes. But, you know, this is, uh, in English, if you say cold, Cold is really below zero. That is cold. This is cool. Yeah, cool. Talking about, about weather, hablando de clima, this is cool. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. cool. We, we don't experience, we don't live here cold, real cold. Oh. But for us, we feel, oh, I'm cold. Yeah, but actually it's cool. But it's good. Good evening, good evening William. Good evening. Good evening, Rosibel. Welcome, Oscar, Edwin, Stephanie, and Ana Maria. Welcome. Okay, we are going to start tonight. It is time. No, very good. Well, uh, let me see, let me share the screen. Right here. Okay, and we go here. ¿Cómo van con la plataforma? ¿Van avanzando? Uh, avanzando, teacher. Yes, teacher. Sí, avanzando. Avanzando, teacher. Ok. Bueno, nosotros vamos acá en la clase, ¿verdad? 2.6. Ustedes pueden avanzar más de eso, ¿no? Eso no es problema. Esta semana tienen que terminar hasta la, bueno, mañana arran, arrancamos con la sección 3. Bueno, tenemos que terminar esto y ustedes para, también para viernes, más tardar sábado por la mañana, deben de tener completo este examen. El viernes le vamos a dar una ojeada a este examen. O sea, esta semana tiene que estar completo. Ok. Teacher. 
Good. Well, let's um, start tonight with this conversation. Um, actually, we have in this, let me see if this opens here. Or if not, I can show you the Okay, first, in this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where time expressions are introduced. We're going to talk about time expressions. So pay attention to time expressions in this conversation, okay? Okay, let's go back to the conversation. So first, tell me, what, what do you see in the photo, in the picture? Where are these, these people? Where are they? In the gym. In the gym. Ah, in the gym. Oh, okay, good. Um, so they are talking in the gym. So listen to the conversation, please. I'm going to mute your microphones for a moment just to avoid any interference. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where time expressions are first introduced. I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at 5. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Deuced. I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay. Let's see. Hmm, here it is. No, what happened? Okay. So look at the conversation. Now let's practice. Okay, repeat after me, please, to practice this conversation. Turn on your microphones and repeat after me. Si le pueden bajar el volumen a la tele, al radio, por ahí, quien no esté escuchando, sería bueno. Okay, so repeat please. So do you usually come to the gym in the morning? So do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. 
Really? What time do you go to work? Really? really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? At night. I usually get home at midnight. I usually, I usually get, get home at midnight. At midnight. At midnight. midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? Midnight? midnight. That, that is late. late. What do you what do, 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 you do exactly. exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? I am, I am a TV announcer. announcer. No, I, 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 I do the word for the TV. Don't you recognize me? Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I am Daniel. I am Daniel. Okay, very good. Now, I'm Daniel and you are Helen. Okay? Okay. okay. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, yeah. I, do. Yeah. I, do. I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I, I usually get home at midnight. 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 midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay. Good. Now let's switch. You are Daniel and I am Helen. Okay. So you begin one, two, three. So, so do you usually so come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? 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 I, do go I, do go to work. Work. I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow. wow. Oh, late. I usually get home at midnight. I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, oh I'm there. Okay. Good, very good. Now, um, some questions. What time does Helen start work? What time does Helen start work? At five. Ah, uh -huh. at five, okay. yes. And what time does she get home? At night? At midnight. midnight. At midnight. midnight. At midnight. midnight. Okay, good. What does she do? She does weather report. She's a TV announcer. Ah, yes. She's a TV announcer. Mm -hmm. Where does she work? In QNTV. She works in KNTV. Yes. Okay, she works in KNTV. 
Okay. What is Helen's last name? Black. Helen Black. Black. Her last name is Black. Black. Okay. Uh, does Daniel like Helen's show? Yes. Yes. Yes, he likes. Yes, he does. Uh huh. Yes, he does. Okay. Good. Uh, any question from the conversation? No, teacher. No, teacher. No? Everything clear? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. Now, so we have some uh, time expressions. What time expressions can you identify in this conversation? At? At? In? At where? No, time. In is uh -huh. not. Afternoon. At five. Uh, okay, let's see. At five. Who said afternoon? Midnight. 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 Okay, in somebody the said in the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the morning. At midnight. In the morning. At night. Late. Late. At night. Late. Ah, uh, okay. That's late. That's late. Okay. Late. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. So these are time expressions. And if you see, we use some, these are prepositions. These are prepositions. In the morning, in the afternoon, at five, at um. night, at midnight okay on on yeah but it's not with a time expression already but on is a preposition too mm -hmm. uh-huh when she says i work on i do the weather report on knTV okay very good so in this class we are going to talk about these time expressions and how we use them with these prepositions, okay? Very good. So let me raise this. And we're gonna go to... Okay, now we have, a, I have another video here and we're going to watch this video about uh, this time expression. So let me go for the video here. I'm going to mute your microphones again. Oh, let's see. Here it goes. Okay, pay attention to this video, please. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions such as prepositions and adverbs of time. Time expressions. I get up at 7 in the morning on weekdays. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. 
I wake up before noon on Sundays. I wake up afternoon on Sundays. Expressing clock time. Seven. Seven. Seven o'clock. Seven a.m. equals seven in the morning. Seven p.m. equals seven in the evening. Okay, so now let's talk about at, in, and on. At. This preposition of time is used to discuss a specific time, including exceptions such as night. Examples, we have classes at 8 p.m. We have classes at 8 at night. In. This preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night, months, and years. Examples, we have classes in the morning. My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico in 1989. On. This preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, a specific dates. Examples, we will meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December 25th. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me show you that information. Here. This is slide, okay? Okay. So these are. Uh huh. Uh huh. Tell me. Dime. Por qué? Por qué este? En los. Y yo entiendo que en en los ejemplos de en el ejemplo de in dice ¿Sí? que. El in no se debe usar para 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 meses para 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 los meses y para los años y yo veo que ahí en los ejemplos se usa el in para para meses y aparece el año también y se usa el in. Okay, no recuerdo si dijo eso en el video, pero aquí lo vamos a lo vamos a ver cómo se sí. usa. A ver si esto que vamos a ver acá te lo aclara. Y si luego tienes otra pregunta, pues me la haces. Veamos esto primero. ¿Está? Ok. okay. Eh, Están viendo la, la, la presentación, el cuadro, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Ok. Yes, teacher. These yes. are prepositions of time. So, we studied this. Add, in, and on. So, we uh, use add when we talk about specific time and then we say at night okay at night at noon at midday okay noon or midday is 12 p.m. noon or midday at midnight, midnight is 12 a.m. At bedtime is the specific time I go to bed. At sunset is when the sun goes down, sunset is specific time. At sunrise is when the sun comes up. At 10.30, so a specific hour and a specific time. And in British English, United Kingdom, they say at the weekend. At the weekend. So we use at for a specific time. Night is like an exception. Because if you see... We use in when we talk about in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. But we say at night. Okay, so it's different. Now, when are we going to use in? Well, when we talk about parts of the day, month, 
seasons, years, decades, and periods of time. For example, parts of the day, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Month, in February. Okay, right now we are in November. My birthday is in August. I only mention the month, okay, in February. Seasons, we use in with seasons, like in summer or in the summer, in spring or in the spring, in winter or in the winter, in fall, in autumn or in the fall, in the autumn. Okay, you you identify the four seasons, summer, spring, winter and fall. So we are going to use in. In years, only the year, only the year. In 2015, right now we are in 2020, okay? In 2020, with years. In, with decades, in decades in the 1990s. So I'm talking about 10 years in a decade. Okay, the, the best music was in the 80s. For example, <clears throat> the 80s, decades. And when we talk about a period of time, like in minutes or in a few minutes, okay? So I'm talking about a period of time. So I'll be back in uh, two hours. So period of time in two hours, okay? So we use in for these cases. Then on, we use in when we talk about days or day plus part of the day on for specific days and on for a date okay for example on sundays days on sunday okay on at we are now on wednesday on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, or a day and part of the day, on Monday morning, on Tuesday afternoon, on Friday evening, the day and part of the day. Specific days, uh, on my birthday, it's a specific day on a holiday, on Christmas day, okay? And with date, on May 5, specific days. Also specific days are on a weekday, a weekday, on a weekday, because it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday on a weekday on time okay uh, we use always on when we say on time okay we're going to start the class on time on time exactly at eight o'clock on time and uh the weekend on the weekend this is american english if you see british english or united kingdom they say at the weekend, but in the United States, they say on the weekend, 
Okay. Now, any question with this? Tell me, you have questions. Eh, ¿Qué significa bedtime? Bedtime is the time you go to bed. You go to sleep. Hora de dormir. Yes, the time you go to bed, to sleep. Y sunset? Sunset, okay. Is the sun, the star, the sun. Uh, uh. Sun set in the afternoon. For example, the, the sun sets at 6 p.m. More or less. Madrugada. No. Sun goes down. Es como amanecer. Amanecer. The opposite. Atardecer. Sun set. Atardecer. Yes. Atardecer. Con la puesta de sol. Yes. Sunrise is in the morning. The sunrise. Amanecer. Ah, el amanecer. La salida del sol. Okay. The sunrise. Okay. Uh, any other question? Uh, no sé quién me hizo la pregunta al principio. Uh, no sé si se le aclaró con esto. Sí, teacher. Okay. Okay. Si no hay preguntas, trabajemos entonces. Vamos a ver. Ok, les voy a copiar esto uh, y, la, y la pantalla anterior, aunque veo que alguien la compartió parece, eh, y les voy a enviar esta, para que ahí simplemente completen with the correct preposition, ok? Fill in the blanks with the correct preposition. All right. Ok, let me... Oh, first, I'm going to put you in small groups. And then I'm going to share the slides on WhatsApp. Let's create. Okay. That's it. Okay. Join your small groups, please. And I will share the exercise and the topic about prepositions on WhatsApp. Hello, Karen. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, I'm going to send you to a group. A group, please uh, join uh, this group because they are working already, okay? Okay, teacher. There you go. Take the invitation, please.
Tack. Nej. Tack. Nej. Tack. We move to another country in the 2015. Mm -hmm. Sí. Sí, correcto. Correcto. And the last. At se ocupa para horas y específicas. Ajá. Específicas tiempos en el día. Ajá. Ah, pues sí, es midnight. Ok. Ajá, uh -huh. es at. Vale. Si quieren, las podemos ir leyendo. Una Miguel, cada uno. Miguel, después, sí. Después Bye. Karina. At night. And the next will be we move to another country in yeah. in yes in the concert star at 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 midnight at midnight that's past my bedtime. Okay. Finish teacher. Finish teacher. Okay. Practice uh, the pronunciation, read the sentences one by one. So you can practice. Okay. Okay, teacher. See you later. And at night. What time? We move it to another country. In. We move to another country in 2015. Yes. Okay. What time do you go to bed at night or oh, in night? At, at night. At night. At night, okay. Yes. Uh, we move. We move. Mm Okay, welcome back. Let's check your work. Please uh, volunteer for read to read number one. Now volunteer. Okay, William, thanks. We are going to have a party on Friday night. Excellent, very good. Now please, William, pass the ball to another student. <laughs> pass Andrea Araceli. 
Okay, Andrea. Sorry. <laughs> um, the meeting is at four o'clock p.m. Okay, excellent. Pass the ball, Andrea. Alejandra. Alejandra. Um, Sam's birthday is next weekend on October 5th. Okay, 5th. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Pass the ball, Alejandra. Luciano. Luciano. Number four. My grandfather was born in in the nineteen fifteenth. Excellent. Yes. Perfect. Very good. Thank you, Luciano. Pause the ball, please, Luciano. Okay. Uh, Rafael. Rafael. Good. Number five. Your microphone, Rafael. Sorry. No problem. My family and I go to the beach in summer. Yes, very good. Okay, shoot to someone else. Alejandra ya ver. Ya. William. William, William Roberto ya. Daniel. Okay, Daniel, very good. Number six. Are there any holidays in March? Yes, excellent. Okay, pass the ball, mm. Daniel. Uh, Rosibel. Rosibel, number seven. One moment, teacher. Okay, no problem. The cafeteria opens for lunch at noon. Yes, excellent. Pass the ball, Rosibel. Mm. Um, Eh, Karina. Okay, Karina, Karina, where's Karina? What time do you go to the bed at night? Ah, okay, good, very good. Okay, Karina, pass the ball. Oscar Alberto. Oscar. Yes, teacher. Number nine. We move. We move to another country in twenty fifteen. Okay. Yes. Good. And pass the ball to the last one. Sergio Eduardo. Sergio Eduardo. Okay. The concert start at meeting. That's past my bedtime. Okay, very good. Excellent. Any question, people? No, teacher. Okay, great. Then let's move to another activity. Mm -mm -mm. Let me share the screen. Okay, just to practice here uh, the listening, I want to share this this exercise. Uh, it's not opening here. 
Estos ejercicios de listening, mire, aquí no me lo abre. No sé si no lo abre aquí. A veces hay que irse a la ventana emergente. Aquí aparece. Y aquí sí. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Okay. Listen, please, to these people talking about their schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m., and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay. One more time. I want you to pay attention to details. And if you can, take notes about the times, the activities they do. Okay, then I'm going to ask some questions and you are going to ask some questions too. All right? Okay, take notes. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m. And I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay. Well, let's go one by Listen one. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m., and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., And I'm usually in bed by one in the morning. Hmm. Okay. What does, what, what is his name first? His name is Rodney. 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 Okay. Rodney. What does, what does Rodney do? He is a chef. He is a chef. He is a chef. He is a chef. Ah, ah, okay. Very good. Um, what time does he get up? Does he usually get up? At 9 a.m. 9 a.m.? Now, okay, good. And what time does he get to work? 11 a.m. 11 a.m. or p.m.? P.M. P.M.? No, no, no. M. P.M. A.M. Ah, 11 a.m. Okay. And what time does he finish work? 10 p.m. Ah, at 10 p.m. So, 
He is in bed around what time? Midnight. Midnight? Mm, a little bit later. Or earlier. I don't know. <laughs> later. <laughs> Afternoon. Huh? I heard 1 a.m. He goes to bed. He usually goes to bed at 1 a.m. But okay, very good, very good. Let's hear the second, the second person. Ah, come on, keep moving. I can believe it. Oh, maybe I need to refresh this. Okay. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay. Um, what about Tina? What does she do? Office manager. Office manager. Oh, she's an office manager. And uh, what time does she get up? During 7 a.m. Okay. And what time does she go to bed? At midnight. At midnight. At midnight. 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 Oh. Ah, okay. Very good. Very good. Um, and Alan, Alan is this third person? Helen. Helen. Uh, oh, oh, it's a girl. Yeah, Helen. Yeah, Helen. Okay, what does she do? She's a flight attendant. Ah, she's a flight attendant. So, what time does she get up? Uh, before 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. And what time does she get home? 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. And what time does she go to bed? At 10. At 10. Okay. Well, you have this exercise in the platform. You can listen, in, listen to it several times, okay? This kind of exercise, don't listen to them just once. No, try to listen many times. Get your ear familiar, okay? Try to get all the details. So, to educate your ears. Okay, so listen to it once, okay. twice. I know there are very few questions here. Well, there are some exercises here to complete, but try to get more, okay, all you can. That's good, that's very important. Well, and finally, but I think we don't have time. Mm 
Yeah. Well, we have a reading here, but you can read it and try to read aloud. Uh, use this, these exercises to practice your pronunciation. Read aloud, es decir, lean en voz alta. If possible, grábense. Hoy con los teléfonos es muy fácil. Escúchense después. ¿Verdad? Si tienen dudas en alguna pregunta, hoy también en, en internet ustedes pueden encontrar no solo el significado, sino la pronunciación de las palabras. Ya, y, y, y practiquen esta, la lectura. Pero no solo para comprender lo que está ahí, sino para vocalizar. Ok, es, es, pueden incluso uh, medirse el tiempo, ¿verdad? ¿Cu ¿Cuánto tiempo lo hacen la primera vez? No, me tardé cinco minutos. Bueno, tratar de, de bajarle a ese tiempo eh, para, para que sea su lectura más, más fluida, ¿no? Y escúchense, grábense, eh, ¿no? Eh, incluso, bueno, ustedes tienen, se tienen ahí en el WhatsApp, pueden enviarse uno a otro con alguien que tengan confianza. Eh, Oí esto, ¿entendés? ¿Qué tanto entendés, verdad? Es decir, eh, 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 es bueno, ¿no? practicar, ir mejorando la pronunciación. Para eso hay que ocupar todos estos recursos. Ok, people, nos quedamos acá por ahora, ¿verdad? Remember, please complete the exercises in the platform. Uh, for this week, we need to, we are going to finish section three and the midterm exam. Ok. Great teacher. Great teacher. Yeah, you have any question? No. No? No. No, teacher. Okay, perfect. See you tomorrow then. See you tomorrow. Well, good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. teacher, compañero. Bye-bye.